Hello students, welcome to Brain Brusher, your own e-learning class. My name is Sunil Joshi and today we are going to cover general principles of cost accounting. This is very useful for undergraduate courses like BCom and BBA. So let's start cost accounting general principles. First, the definition of cost accounting. What is a cost accounting? Cost accounting is the process of accounting of for cost. Cost accounting is a process. Process of accounting. Process accounting for cost. So process means that is continuity. Process of accounting for cost. Basically, accounting are divided in the three parts. These are accounting are divided in the three parts. These are financial accounting. financial accounting cost accounting and the next one is the management accounting management accounting financial accounting under the financial accounting transactions are recorded after the expenses are complete. So this is the historical nature. This is historical nature. Why historical nature? Because under the finance accounting, first the transactions are covered and therefore the transactions are recorded. First the expenses are happened, after that the transactions are recorded in the books of account. Therefore this is the historical nature. Second, the finance accounting is actual. These are actual expenses. Why actual expenses? Because the once we are uh, uh, spend the amount on a particular health, therefore we record the account in the books. Therefore, the whatever transactions are recorded in the uh, finance accounting are actual. While in the cost accounting, under cost accounting, this is futuristic. This is futuristic. Futuristic in the sense. These are the planned expenses. We are prepared the expenses before we spend actual amount. So these are the planned or therefore these are futuristic. So this is this actual, this is what? This is the plan. Plan. Or we can say this is budgeted. This is budgeted. Or this is proposed. Okay. While the management accounting is the decision making, this is the newest branch of the accounting, this is the decision making. Under the management accounting, we take some decisions, either we produce or not to produce, we have to produce your, your own or we take uh, some uh, import from other countries. So this is the, this basically the management accounting is the decision making, decision making. We take the res resources from the financial accounting as well as cost accounting and we take the uh, in, uh, conclusion under the financial account uh, management accounting. This therefore, this is called the management accounting where the we are taking some decision under the management accounting. So basically the accounting are divided into three parts. These are the financial accounting, cost accounting and management accounting. Under financial uh, accounting, we are first spend the amount, therefore we record the uh, transaction in the finance accounting, therefore this is the historical nature. Second, these are the actual expenses. Under the finance accounting, all transactions are actual. While in the cost accounting, cost accounting is the futuristic in nature, where we plan what to produce and what the amount to be there. Second is the, is the plan or it is budgeted. Why under the management accounting, this is the decision making. We take some resources, information from the financial accounting as well as the uh, cost accounting and therefore we take some decision under the management accounting. Now, next is the objective of the cost accounting. What are the objectives of cost accounting? Basically under this, we are focused on cost accounting only. objectives.
of cost accounting. What are the requirements of cost accounting? The objectives of the cost accounting are it is ascertaining cost. First object is ascertaining cost. Under the cost accounting, we have to ascertain the cost. What is the cost is expected, what the goods or services we are producing, that is the ascertaining cost. Second is the determining selling price. Determining selling price. Third objective is the measuring and increasing efficiency. Measuring and increasing efficiency. Increasing efficiency. This is very important because if you do not measure or in, uh, the efficiency, then the cost will be increased. Therefore, measuring and increasing efficiency is the third objective. Fourth is cost control and cost reduction. Cost control and cost reduction. This is another very important function or uh, objective of the cost accounting. Cost reduction means first we control the cost and we not just control the cost, we continue to try to reduce the cost. So, cost control and cost reduction, cost reduction is the continuing process. So, cost uh, control and cost reduction is a another objective of the cost accounting. For the ascertaining the profit, uh, sorry, fifth, ascertaining profit, ascertaining profit, what goods or services we are producing, that profit will be ascertaining. The fifth uh, objective of the cost accounting is the ascertaining the profit. And the last one is the provide basis for manager is the provide basis of basis for managerial managerial decision decision making. So these are the six uh, objectives of the cost accounting. The first is ascertaining the cost. Second is the determining the selling price. Third is the measuring and increasing efficiency. Fourth cost control and cost reduction. Fifth is ascertaining profit and ascertaining profits. And the last one is the provide basis for managerial decision making. Now, how we measure the cost accounting? So, cost accounting means the elements of cost. Now, the next one is the elements of cost. Basically, to produce any goods and resources, goods or services, we require three kinds of the, there are three kinds of the expenses. These are the material, labor and expenses. Elements of cost. The cost. Cost to produce any goods or services, the costs are di basically divided into three parts. These are material, materials, second is labor, and third is expenses. So, to produce any goods and services, the total costs are divided in three heads, materials, labor and expenses. Further, the materials are further subdivided, direct materials and indirect materials. Materials are direct material, and indirect material. The material either direct or indirect. 
Similarly, labor. Labor are for also divide direct labor and indirect labor. Direct and indirect. Similarly, expenses also divide two parts direct expenses and indirect expenses. Direct expenses and indirect expenses. In this way, the expenses are divided in the direct material, indirect material, direct labor, indirect labor, direct expenses or indirect expenses. Or we can say the materials or labor or expense either direct or indirect. Further, all the indirect expenses are further move forward. We go ahead and these expenses are further divided under the factory indirect factory or office and administration office and administration and third is a selling and distribution third is selling and distribution. Okay. Now, it means under the factory, there are indirect materials, indirect labor and indirect expenses. Similarly, office and administration, indirect material, indirect labor and indirect expenses and similarly, selling and distribution, there are the indirect material, indirect labor and indirect expenses. I repeat, the elements of cost are three kinds, materials, labor and expenses. Further, the materials and labor uh, expenses are subdivided into direct and indirect. So, the indirect material, indirect material, direct labor, indirect uh, labor, in direct expenses and indirect expenses. All the indirects, we move further, factory, office and administration and selling and distribution. Okay. The same uh, elements of cost can be uh, explained in other way. These are <coughs> elements of cost. Same. The same elements of cost can be explained direct material, direct materials, direct labor, direct labor. direct expenses direct expenses and all indirect are club together no the overhead and overhead over heads right so the element costs are direct materials direct labor direct expenses and the indirect are clubbed together known as a common uh, way is the common heads the overheads. Now, overheads are further means indirects or overheads are further subdivided. Further subdivide. Factory overhead factory overhead overheads mean indirect expenses overhead means indirect expenses these are factory overheads or office and administration overhead office and administration overhead 
administration overhead oh overhead and selling and distribution overhead selling and distribution distribution overhead oh overhead right Other way, we describe the elements of cost are direct materials, direct labor, direct expenses and all the indirect expenses are clubbed together known as overheads. Further overheads are subdivided, fa uh, factory overheads, office and administration overhead and selling and distribution overhead. Now, these are what is the uh, factory overheads and office and selling expenses indirect are these are. These are indirect materials, indirect materials, indirect labor, and third is indirect expenses, indirect expenses mean the same th things we uh, we explain in a different way now it means indirect material factory indirect material office indirect material selling distribution similarly indirect labor factory indirect labor office admission indirect labor selling and distribution and same indirect expenses in factory indirect expenses in office admission indirect expenses in selling and distribution now, I hope you uh, it is clear. So, elements of cost are direct labor, materials, expenses. The cost, the cost, are either material or labor or expenses. Right? These are maybe direct or maybe indirect. All the indirects are clubbed together known as overheads. All the indirect expenses are clubbed together is overheads. The overheads are further divide in the factory or office and admission or selling and distribution. Under the office and uh, office, factory and selling distribution, these are indirect material, indirect labor, indirect expenses. Now, it is clear. Now, the total cost. These are the direct cost and indirect cost. What is direct cost? The, basically, the total costs are divided in either direct or indirect. What is direct cost? Direct costs are those costs where the each units of output can be easily described. The per unit output can be easily determined. Where the per unit cost of outputs can be easily determined, that cost is known as the direct cost. And where the per unit cost of per unit output is cannot be determined, such cost known as the indirect cost. cost divided in the two parts direct cost and indirect cost. The cost either direct or costs are indirect. Direct cost. Direct costs are those costs which the per unit cost of output can be easily determined. The cost which per unit output can be easily determined. Under this cost per unit cost of output easily easily determine you can easily determine the per unit cost of output where under indirect cost per unit output cost cannot be determined under the indirect cost the per unit cost output cannot be determined per unit unit cost of output cannot be determined because it cannot be determined therefore such costs are transferred to the factory office and selling distribution such costs into the overhead clear now 
all the costs, the direct are clipped together known as the prime cost. When we all the direct costs are clipped together, such cost known as the prime cost. So, what is prime cost? Prime cost means the, the initial cost which are direct, directly used. So, these under this cost, the direct material, direct material plus direct materials, okay, like this. direct direct materials direct materials plus direct labor plus direct expenses direct expenses direct materials plus direct labor plus direct expenses clubbed together known prime cost this is what this is prime cost this is prime cost now indirect the cost either direct or indirect so direct materials direct labor direct expenses club together known as a prime cost now indirect indirect costs are subdivided in the factory office and selling and distribution indirect under the factory indirect under factory indirect under factory factory material under factory indirect material indirect materials plus indirect labor plus indirect expenses indirect labor indirect material indirect labor index expenses under factory known as factory overhead this is known as factory overhead factory overhead okay now prime cost plus factory overhead is total cost fact uh, work cost third is indirect under office and administration office and admin office and admin under indirect office and admission these are again indirect material indirect material plus indirect labor plus indirect expenses indirect expenses now this is equal to this is known as office overhead indirect material indirect labor indirect expenses under office known as office overhead and last one is selling and distribution selling and distribution selling distribution what selling and distribution indirect again and under selling and distribution again indirect material indirect materials plus indirect expenses uh, indirect labor plus indirect expenses this is known selling and distribution overhead selling and distribution overhead fine this is what the objective of the cost accounting to ascertaining the cost ascertaining cost the cost is ascertaining the direct or indirect the objective of the cost accounting is first objective was ascertaining the cost so first we ascertain the cost the cost are either direct or indirect so what is the cost under prime cost or factory overheads or office overhead or selling and distribution now determining the selling price so when we club all the cost together prime cost factory overhead 
office overhead and selling overheads. All the cost are club, we get total cost. This is what? This is total cost. Total cost of production. So, we have second uh, objective of the cost accounting determine, determining a selling price. This is the cost. Definitely, the selling price should be more than the cost. Therefore, we uh, generate the profit. So, the total cost and uh, we add our expected profit, then we uh, determine the selling price. Third, the measuring the efficiency. What is the efficiency of the labor? What is the efficiency of labor? How much they are producing per unit cost uh, uh, per hour output? So, we determine the efficiency of labor that we uh, discuss in later, uh, later on classes. So, the uh, fifth one is the cost and cost control. We have to control the cost. If the cost, if the, these costs are goes rapidly increases, then this is very difficult, uh, difficult for us to how we sell our product in the market because there are the lots of the rivals firm in the market. If the cost is goes sh uh, sharply, then this is very difficult for us to uh, establish ourselves. So, we have to determine the cost and we have uh, cost control and uh, same time we reduce the cost. So, we have to generate our profit maximum. The uh, fifth one asserting the profit. What is the asserting profit? Because once we determine the cost, then add the, uh, uh, the selling price and we ascertain the profit. How the profit? Profit we determine the profit. Profit means how the profit? Profit equal to selling price greater than the cost. If the selling price greater than our cost, then the def definitely profit will be uh, positive. So, the fifth one is the asserting the profit and the uh, sixth objective was the pro provide the basis for the manager decision. The all this information we uh, uh, forward to the managerial uh, decision making, then the sixth objective we also be determined. So, uh, this is the uh, first class where we uh, discuss the cost accounting, the general principles. In the later on class, we will discuss the uh, cost sheet and uh, what are the costs. Basically, the costs uh, are divided in the four uh, categories. These are the direct cost, indirect cost, step cost and semi-variable cost. I repeat, the uh, costs are direct cost, indirect cost, uh, in the, uh, indirect cost means the variable cost, direct cost, variable cost, semi-variable cost and step cost that we discuss later on. So, thank you very much for watching this uh, channel. If you are new, then please uh, subscribe my channel and uh, like this channel. If you have any queries, please feel free in the write the uh, 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 your uh, queries in the uh, query column. Thank you very much for watching.